and we're back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I'm your host, Nick Legato. Time to have fun in Trino, one might say. But first things first, let's go ahead and do... We did one of these with Steiner recently. This one's going to be a little different. As we got to go in here and move some stuff around first and foremost. Uh, we need to equip the jelly skill. So we've done that and that. That protects us against those skills. We need to protect ourselves here. Where is it? There it is. And we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and have us some fun here in Trino. I want to fight the monster. And obviously Zidane is the best choice as we head down blue. The battle shouldn't be too hard with the setup that we have. So let's check it out. As we throw down, let's see here, big ugly looking cat. I think it's called the Catoblius or whatever, whatever. I don't know its name really. But the first thing we're going to want to do after being hit with the heave, let's go ahead and use Soul Blade. And it should cause Confuse, because that's what comes with the, with the uh, Angel's Bless weapon. And now he's confused himself, so it gives us a chance to hit him back after he hits himself. I was going to say, that didn't last very long. Just wait for him to hit himself and then go ahead and hit him. Pretty much join in the fight here. Give him a second. He should hit himself. If he hits me, though, we'll figure it out. Yep, he's hitting me, that's for sure. So, let's just open up and fight him then. Either way, he can no longer turn us to stone because we put jelly on him, which is one of his skills. He can cast them Dara, I think? I'm not sure what his other skill is. Uh-oh. This ain't gonna go over too well. See, I might have to heal myself. Eh, we're okay. I think I'll probably take that two more times, so... I'll just go ahead and slice him down. Ends the battle. Wasn't so tough. Freaking sweet! But we get nothing really other than... I think we get some gill. So we get 15,000 gill. Now, there is the auction house, but we're going to go over there a little later. Just to check this out really quick. There's some new weapons for us to buy. We'll buy a single Quarrel Sword. Um, anything else? Mithril Gold. Yeah, so the Quarrel Sword is really the thing to buy. You should probably pick up two. But, well, wait, we got two in stock. That's right, we stole one. That's right. Der so anyway, we're good. Now, off to the next place. The next thing we want to do is we want to actually make a little bit of a run here. We're going to head all the way over to the Stilizzo lady, the Stilizzo coin lady. As uh, we've got a bunch of those to turn in, and that gets us some money and items, so it's worth doing, bro. Alright, so let's do that. Do, 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 do. And there's the castle thing here. Let's go see this crazy sociopath. Yes, I do. Here you go. Now grant me awesomeness. Whoa. Alright, so we get an elixir. We give you Virgo. I wish this would go faster. Come on. Alright, we get 10,000 gil. All this is going to help us for the auction house. Because there's some things we want to get there, for sure. So, just deal with it. Um, what is this? The black, another black belt, so that's cool. And that should be all of our Stilizos. So we got another black belt out of it, always a bonus. Um, really quick, let's re-equip the proper gear upon our fellow character here, where the Lapis Lazuli, and the abilities can be moved back around again, um, we can take off Jelly, uh, ooh, Bright Eyes, sure, why not, Gamble Defense, huh, it raises defense occasionally, doesn't sound too bad, oh, Man Killer and Gamble Defense, I think there's more to it than that, but whatever, I'm not gonna think too much about it. Alright, so now that we've done that, we're not quite done yet. 
we're not ready to go to the auction house yet. We'll find out why. Um, so let's get... it should be this way then. Do 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 do. Alright, so let's go ahead and head this way. Yay! Now here's the deal. If you've been following along with our quest, you know that we've been collecting coffee, okay? Surprisingly, the last coffee is pretty close to where that old man lives, but we haven't been able to do anything about it yet. Until now. So we actually have to make our way through the gate passage here. We work our way that direction anyway. Alright, win that battle. Let's keep moving. Doo -doo 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 -doo, as we have to cross through the gate area. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to do that. Ah. Can't take me anywhere, guys. You just, you just can't. Oh, boy. Let's try and not screw this up this time, shall we? There we go. As you can see, the gates no longer require passage. We just walk across. Yeah, we already got that chest from earlier, so we don't have to worry about that. We can hop, skip, and jump over. Let's keep moving. And we want to head this way. Do -do 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 -do, up and around, and this gate should be open. It will open when we get up to it. See, that's strange why this gate keeps being open and closed when the other one's just open. Jeez. Eh, it's not a big deal. We leave the place unlocked. Just to let you know. Alright, so anyway, regardless, we are here to finish one quest we haven't done yet. Let's get to it, shall we? Because all the enemies are the enemies we fought the first time we came through here, so it's not a big deal. Now, instead of heading to the go coffee dude's place, we're going to head to the town of Dolly first. Because that's where the finishing of this quest really takes place. It's kind of tricky. I, I've only been able, I've only recently figured it out or learned about it from a friend, per se. So we gotta go in here, and the mayor is actually missing of all place of all things, and really it's just a matter of you know checking things out, and you have to time it just right so you don't get caught. So we find the mini brawn. What's the desk? Let's tech, check the ladder here. And we get caught. He's always such a pain in the ass. So let's go back in. The other places don't really matter so much. What we need to do is get over to here. Yeah, but he saw us. It's tough. I don't know how to do this in order to not get caught. Maybe turning his head helps. No. Okay. Hmm. Well, it looks like it looks like you know what? I think I bet you there's an order to this that you have to do it in. Let's see, because he never sees me when I go over the desk, no matter how long I would desk. Does he see me? No. So shelf. It's the only thing we haven't tried yet without being caught. No, we got caught there too. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see what happens when I do this. Interesting. Look, there we go. Maybe that's what we had to do. Hey, nice. We get the mayor's key. That's what we really came here for. So with that key, we can do something we haven't been able to do before. We're about to find out. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. we can go in here. So let's do that. Yay! Uh, doo -doo -doo. so there should be a chest right here, and that's 30,000 gil. That man layers a lot, some money. And here, we find the burning coffee. Yay! Yay, yay! So there's the final piece, there's the final coffee. 
as well as we just made 30 grand, yo. 30 grand, baby. And now that the windmill has stopped, we can actually go and get these chests, which have a Kachusha in it. And let's see, we gotta go over here, and we can get in there and grab the elixir. So the whole point of coming back here was actually a really good idea. It paid off. <laughs> Damn it, get down the ladder, you moron. Thank you. So as you can see, coming down here was worth the effort. And it's completely sealed, so apparently they're not making black mages no more. Okay, and if you want to do the cotton wrist trick, you can do it here. Um, so I don't know about buying the steeple hats, but I believe you can still buy wrists here. So, it's up to you. I don't think we need to. We're pretty wealthy now. We got 90,000. We should have enough to do what we need to do for the um, auction house. So, I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry about it too much here. Let's see. There's the old timer there, but do we just walk in here? Yes. Oh, poor guy. We'll make him happy. We brought him some coffee. Yeah, think about it. We had to actually know where they all were, man. Yes, enjoy. See, we made your life worth living again. Okay, so... We put this one thing into motion here. Now somebody might say, I thought I got this ship. You do? It's actually at, uh... Tantalus uh, Hideout. So... That's where it is. Don't worry about it if you felt like you didn't get anything. You did. You really did. Kind of. You call that getting something, but sure, why not? So after all that hubba de bub we get to make our way all the way back to Trino. Yay! Skip all these weak-ass battles. Alright, let's keep moving. Back at South Frickin' Gate. Okay, back at South Gate. We must through. We can now continue our adventure back to Trino. Yay! Running, 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 jumping, running, jumping. Must be a pain to cross that area there with that broken bridge like that. Somebody should fix it! Jackal? Let's see... Okay, we're now back outside. We have to run some more. Almost back to Trino, which is nice. Alright, let's keep moving, running, running, running. And into Trino we finally go. So! We've done that. Let's go ahead and reap the auction house of its goods. Um, though we're not going to get them all, even though there are some new ones. There's only two that are really worth our time. We can get the others later, and really, they're not that great. I mean, they have their uses, but I wouldn't really waste too much time with it, per se. And you'll see why when we do it. If you remember, the last time we were in Trino... We took a bunch of items like um, 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 these artifact and all that crap. Um, there is a means to the, you know, madness, so to speak. And you'll get to see what that's all about momentarily here. We have to make our way over to the auction house. Open says me. Oh. And today's items are the magician's robe, the feathered boots, the maiden's ring, and the dark matter. The only thing we give a rat's ass about is the dark matter don't care for so much for this item. We can buy them and or per se synthesize them now. So there's no reason. But the dark matter is important. The dark matter allows Dagger later to cast Odin. Get it. <laughs> no reason not to. As we now loiter around here waiting for this stuff to pass. 
So, you know, here's the deal, guys. I'm not going to make you watch this because I am waiting for the Dark Matter. So we'll see you when the Dark Matter goes up. Okay, finally the Dark Matter has come up. So we're going to start bidding. But we're going to let these clowns... It's the same tactic as before, guys. Just let these guys bid as high up. Because you, if you start bidding, they're going to raise it above you every time. Which end up, ends up making it more expensive than it initially is. We've got 90,000 gills. So we're pretty well off, I think. Because they're barely breaking 15. Let's throw in our bid, and we should get it. We should get it. And there we go. We got us some dark matter. Yay! So let's take a look at it really quick, just because we want to look at our prized item. The dark matter teaches Odin raises strength and magic. But it does nothing else other than teach Odin, so no point in inflicting it on anyone. Okay, we're going to pick up the mini sit if we can. Uh, yeah, let's just get the mini sid. We don't have a mini sid. Let's get it. It shouldn't run too much, but the other stuff we don't care about. And then after this, there's one item left for us to find, and we just gotta get it to show up. But we don't care about the other three items for the moment, so we're just kind of waiting it out here. Are you guys done bidding against each other, so I can just outbid you anyway. There we go. Oh damn it! Didn't work. Else. Try it again. There we go. Get the stupid mini set. Okay, we don't care about the other stuff. Let's go back inside. We're looking for a very specific item. <clears throat> there it is, the rat's tail. Yay! So let's grab that. Rat's tail. This should end up running a Ryu around 25,000. I've seen it go, or not that high. Um, well, yeah, I have seen it go that high, but I don't think it's from default, I think it's from trial and error and realizing you shouldn't bid when these idiots are bidding against each other. Just just wait here. Yeah, it's reach. It's getting up there, maybe it's... Yeah, it sh might reach there. What else? There we go. We snake it? I think we did. Booyah! So we get the rat's tail. Which, if you're a Final Fantasy fan, you know the rat's tail has a lot of stuff involved with it. It goes as far back as the first Final Fantasy. So these should all be items that we don't really care about. Yep. So now we've got all the key items that you can get from the store, from the uh, auction house. So don't worry about anything after that. So first things first, we're going to go use our Moogle friend to save. So we'll be back after that. Okay, so now we're all saved. Yay! So let's keep moving, shall we? As we now have a card tournament to win. Or attempt to win. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that either. Sorry, these are all the rules if you guys really give a crap. I don't care about that, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Whatever, whatever. Uh, yeah, I have plenty of cards. Go blow yourself. Alright. As we head for the first round so let's get this going here um obviously you're probably going to want to use your best cards or whichever cards you have available we have the mithril sword cards which seem to give us some good uppers there's a gargant card the lindblom card which does nothing really for us tonberry card really it's all about balancing out the directions that your cards face that's obviously an interesting one we'll take one of those you get zoo cards? No. Well... Man, nothing there. We need some that face down, because we don't have really any cards that face the downward direction here. Wait a minute, there's a zombie card that does. Um... And last but not least... There's a decent kick-ass card there, too, so let's do that. It's most of... I mean, I mean, there's a lot of stuff involved, per se, with this game. 
but it really shouldn't affect you too much. Let's go ahead and... Oh, crap. Got a weird kind of hand there. Just put a Mithril Sword in there. Ah. Damn, Zoo Card's gonna murder me left and right. But we got a combo! Let's go ahead and use the Mithril Sword again, shall we? Even though it failed us last time, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and go this route. We should win. Nice. Go to lose. And he got the damn combo, too, damn it. Well, let's see how this goes. We double dip! Yeah! Oh, no. But we still win. So let's go ahead and take his zoo card, shall we? Thank you. Oh, God. It's like the card. I don't need a goblin card. Yeah, you can only have 100 cards, by the way. So, just a heads up. That's probably, you know what? That's probably why the damn thing didn't fall down from the bell. Oh well. It's too late to worry about it now. Check out the good old days ATV, ATE here. They were the good old days! And great, it's these two again. What we have changed? It's probably his, his influence. And I think that seem to think that King, the owner of the mansion, is Kuja. Hmm. On his property, there is no proof that Kuja is Lord King. Who's Lord King? I mean, really? Are we around? Are you here for a reason? Uh, interesting. What the hell? this now. Oh, we don't get to see any of the backstory? Lame. Well, let's see. You know, all we can do is just keep doing the tournament. Alright, let's just go in here and get this over with, shall we? So we play Mario of the Slums. Great. So this is the dude with the Naming Way card. So, he's gonna be tough because I know that Naming Way card is pretty much an instant give. So we need to use some good stuff. Not too good, so that way we can rebound. And that's that skill where you, you know, he takes one of your cards and you use one of your cards to retake it, this kind of thing. Um, there we go. And we get to go first. How fortunate for us. It's the sarcasm, you can hear the sarcasm in my voice. But we get gibbed pretty badly be able to win the day. Nice. Oh, come on. Really? Jackass. We're gonna lose that. Oh, no, we won, actually. Huh, what were the odds? No, I think he's got another naming way card on him, so we better be careful. No, no, just the one. Yeah, it's a draw, huh? Alright, so we, draw, we had a draw. Let's try again. I'm sure some guy's sitting there going, Dude, you're totally doing this the wrong way. You know what? I hate being told that, number one. Number two, I don't play the card game very much. Because I save all of that energy for the one in Final Fantasy VIII. When I do let's play that, that card game just drives me freaking insane. Not in a good way, either. More like in a concentrated rage way. We gotta deal with that. Ooh, fail. Win! Nice. So from here, let's go the safe route and do that. I don't think. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think a zoo should be able to beat me. Let's put the that down there. Oh crap! I didn't even think about that. Oh well. Let's see. We should lose. Oh come on. Oh, I totally blew that too. I should have won that one. Sorry guys. Let's try this again. God damn it. Let's see. I already picked that one, so it should be a skeleton here. Alright, let's try again. I'm gonna screw it up this time. 
Place you. Nice. Place you. Let's see. The naming way card will win, but at least he can't get a combo. Let's go with the skeleton. I think the skeleton's a weaker card. Sweet. So we can't rebound. Okay, well, we can try. Well, no, we can't. So we can win just by. Well, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah! Booyah! Oh, crap. Well, we still won. So let's go ahead and take us a naming way card. This is so powerful. Goodbye, goblin card. Get us a naming way card. Yo. I'm sorry that took so long with a bunch of draws. But that naming, those naming way cards are potent. Now, if you win all of them, you get all of his cards, which include more naming way cards. But as you can see, that didn't work. It didn't work out that way. As we see more ATEs. Yay. For the first time. Who is he? Is it Dane? What? Mansion. I was looking for a fight. It didn't matter who as long as he was strong. Huh? King family's infamous new security guard. What the hell? <laughs> How that works is beyond me, but sure, why not? I expect you to fall for such a childish trick. He doesn't flaunt his power, he only cares about being with his friends. <laughs> Sly devil you. Alright, so we've done that, so we have another shot at the tournament here. Okay, so just to let you guys know, I stopped the video and saved. I've been actually saving between every card game, just to let you guys know. And you should be doing it too, um, because you're not going to win them all. I figured it's not a big deal. I didn't think you guys needed to know that, but I guess you really should. It's, it's being honest, as we now play against the Regent! Come on, you didn't re think about it. You know this person's not the champion. Why would Regent Sid be here? It's the champion's pet. Oh, poor Sid. Silence, for I am the champion. <laughs> So we can ignore, ignore a lot of this nonsense right now because we have to fight the champion in a game of cards. This is going to be the hardest game of cards we've had to do, so you'll probably want to pull out something a little stronger than the uh, swords we've been using. Let's see. Eh. Eh. No. Yes. Um. Oh, shit there. And there. Crap. That naming away card is potent, but I don't think we'll get a lot of use. Let's use a Gargant. And last but not least, our AoE little hitter hits several different areas. Should be easy for us to get back in case we lose it, but let's go ahead and place him. Because he's going to lose anyway. Or maybe not. Okay, I take that back. Let's put our zombie there. We win that one as well. Nice. Gargant. 
As you can see, I'm trying to spread the cards out a little bit just to be on the safe side. We can do that. Well, we'll probably lose the mimic, yeah. Oh boy. Well, if we attempt to take the mimic, we can. But this could go very badly, but we'll try it anyway. Oh yeah, we. There we go. But now, eh, well, we still win regardless. So let's go ahead and, as all the Oglops seem to be the same, well, they're not all the same, but we didn't obviously get the ones there that are different. So we'll take the Oglop card, call it a win. So he's tough, though. You could lose several times trying to get it, but you receive a Rebirth Ring for your trouble, and it's a really good item. There's no reason whatsoever for you not to get it. Get it. And in all honesty, I lost twice <laughs> trying to get it, so there you go. Go very fast. He can't go very. But we made it to Trino. Interesting. Oh God, this is horrible. What's up, Ego? Something bad's happening in Alexandria. You say? Speak, woman. Well, we'll find all out all out about all that right now. Wait, what the hell? The statue is alive! It's alive! That's the true bad guy. The statue! Oh, wait a minute. No, that's just Kuja. People are overjoyed. They believe a wonderful future is ahead of them. Okay. Play a Requiem for her. Oh, and all about it. Oh, boy. He's raging now. Uh oh. What, what the hell? I thought, oh boy. Well, hi Alexandria, you were a wonderful town. As holy crap. Yeah, Dagger, be frickin' terrified of the big end. Mm-mm-mm, toasty. Alright, so it appears all hell is breaking loose, so we'll have to deal with that as we see here. I don't want to die! Oh, kill the hippo people! Kill them! Oh, they're getting away. Dang it. And what is this? Now we have Beatrix here. Your Highness! Okay, so now we go into this little mini game here. Don't worry. If you do it right, you get a neat reward. Hurry up, you fools! This is an emergency! Get your acts together before the princess arrives! Line up! Steiner and the Knights of Pluto, huh? Oh god. Okay, please give your orders. So there's several orders we can do, so we'll do this like this. Gather information should be... If we do this in the right order, you'll get um, some really good results. Well, you'll get an item for doing it right. So, protecting the past, people should be Weimar and Hagen. Okay, and, uh... Let's see, we want to do that, and it should be... I cannot pronounce that word. Ryricht and Lau Lauda. And then last but not least, the cannon preparation de Dojabon, Dojabon and Mullenkindine. Or whatever. God, these names are just ridiculous. But further up, we get the Angel of Earrings. If you do them in different orders, you'll get like a High Potion or an Ether or an Elixir. I think, depending on how you do it. And really, the, the, the earrings are probably the better way to go. That's a creepy ass picture. The hell? The heck? That was kind of strange. Run, children! Run, Fatso! As we, the Knights of Dite, come to save the day! Okay, so before you start here, you have the control of Beatrix. A really smart idea... Oops. No, put back the crap. You can keep my crappy crap crap. And your accessory... Be something I don't care if you remove. The yellow scarf. Most importantly, though, we need to remove the cross helmet. 
Um, unfortunately, we can't take the Save the Queen, I don't believe. See, she can't equip any other swords, really. We have the Ice Brand, and we still gotta work on it. The Coral Sword will teach us something else, but I'm a kind of a completionist, so we're gonna learn it. Um, obviously, all these other things here, but that Cross Home, we can actually take off of her. Always a good thing, as it teaches MP Attack and Devil Killer. But first and foremost, we need to learn the Mental Break. Coral Ring, well, let's see, hold on real quick, guys. As we're looking, not for High Tide, but we're looking for the Ability Up skill. Did he learn it, or did he not? We don't know. Uh, he's got level up. You see it there. Extract. It might be in his other gear. Okay, maybe not. Let's go on the, where he's at. Thunder gloves. Ability up. So obviously we're going to ditch the Thunder Gloves. Ability up comes first. So, well... I don't know. Uh, no, we'll hold off on it for the moment. Sorry, I'm having second thoughts. And eh, we'll just stick with what he's got for now. That's not a big deal. Sorry, guys, I know that's a waste of time. But I get the feeling like we're not going to keep Steiner around for long. You notice we haven't been really keeping him around for long. We always, you know, we keep him for a few battles and he freaking disappears for half, half the game. Barely use the guy. But not to worry, because with them, with Steiner, is obviously Beatrix, who will kick ass. So, regardless of how you think this will go down, Beatrix will practically murder anything in her path. And really, you could just use the Psyken skills and, like, shock and stuff, and in these battles pretty quickly. I'm kind of wondering why I didn't do that to begin with. As you can see, Steiner by default hits harder than Beatrix does, so using the Psyken skills is probably a better idea. Steiner has the level up skill, he'll level up faster. Let's see. Can get over this way. Get out of the way, cow person. Oops. Move it, hippo face. We now I gotta throw down. The enemy is close, Beatrix. Yes, it is. It's flying from rooftops, attacking us with concentrated rage. All right. So again, this is a scripted battle, so we're showing it. We may as well just hit him with Dark Side. It should end the battle pretty quickly here. If not one-shot him, but doesn't always. Eh, actually, he's strong to darkness, isn't he? Isn't he? So that actually was a bad idea. Not a big deal. Easy win. He's leveled up twice already. Just from that alone. All right, let's keep moving. We gotta fight these now. Uh oh. We're sandwiched! Nothing we can't handle. Let's see here. Now we've got two. And they should be pretty easy fights. Let's go ahead and use Clim, Clim Hazard. Should rid us of their presence, per se. So they're a lot more resilient than before. You see, we didn't instant give any of them. And Shock is the only thing stronger than that. Shock's a single target, so it might have been a better idea to use that as Steiner is getting murdered here. So we're going to have to cure him, too, if we want him to be around any for the rest of the... Oh, he's down! Don't worry, Beatrix has full life. Well, actually, I don't know if she has enough MP to cast it, so we'll find out in a moment. She may even get put to sleep. Great. Great! And those fuckers hit hard. Great. Um... Yeah, we can cast full life. And Steiner. There we go. Wakey wakey! I'm actually intentionally drawing this battle out, just because the episode needs... We need to close it before we start getting into more stuff here. William on fire! And Beatrix can cure both of them. 
and Steiner can go for the Killing Blow. Healing. Kazam, yo! And the battle is won! Get 3 AP for that, nice. Let's see. And what do we got here? Another one of these bastards attacking the townspeople. No worries, we'll save the day. That's what we do. Prepare to die, scum. Alright, as we gotta throw down. Let's see. Should be pretty straightforward here. Let's go for a swing. Hiya! And Beatrix will follow up for the kill. And down he goes. See nothing we can't handle at all. Yay! And we get mad experience for it too. It's always a good thing. Oh boy. And we're attacked again, persistent bastards. This is Sparta. <laughs> Let's see here. So we go up against one more. Should be a pretty easy fight here, as these two attacks should finish him off nicely. So very nice. So full of space. As Steiner levels up yet again, thanks to the great level up skill, he's catching up pretty quick to the other characters, which is good. Because we remember Zidane is in his 30s, like level 34, I think. So Steiner's at level 22. So there's a huge difference between them. As we're thrown into yet again another battle. Alright, but now we're kind of behind, so we've got to play a little bit of catch up here. We gotta. Come on. Nice. Got the gib. Even though we don't really care about Beatrix leveling, or do we? If Steiner might level again in the next battle, we'll find out momentarily. What is it? I... Well, that's nice of her to assume that, anyway. Thrown into a battle, and, and that moment, I'm sure, was an emotional moment for Steiner. As I believe he starts this battle tranced. Yep, he, start, we, uh, he, he starts the battle tranced. So that means he's total emo now. Emo rage. Fortunately, we don't really have anything we can do to fat hasten the defeat of these enemies, other than the fact that Steiner should be able to one-shot him. Which is good. Except being hit by mist is not, because now Steiner's put to sleep. Great. Not good at all. Not that Beatrix can't handle it, per se, but, well, yeah, she can't handle it. Wake up, Steiner. You're gonna get murdered. Let's go ahead and throw a high potion out on him, or he's done. We're done for. Not if we don't do that. The whole point of this battle is the fact that Steiner is in this condition. So there we go. Should be okay now. Um, we'll go ahead though and use another high potion and keep Steiner up just to make sure. Always good to be safe. Better safe than sorry. Alright, and Steiner will get the final blow! Booyah! And the battle is won yet again. And he finally learns Mental Break, which means we can actually move him to the Coral Sword. Or the next sword, whatever the next sword is. But it shouldn't matter, because it's Scene Switches anyway. Hey, go figure. Yeah, you hear music. Where's it coming from? It's coming from upstairs. Dun dun dun. Your chance to equip dagger however you please, though it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so we'll put, eh, we'll put Odin on, well, 
know what the little ones are of the most important so because we'll actually use them Let's go ahead and put on shh, the opal the magician's robe a long awaited magician's robe and you don't get anything out of that and you don't really get anything out of that so you're good oh no can't go in that way Blocked and denied there. What the heck's going on, bro? Let's see. Can we go this way? No. Oh, shoot. Kind of narrows down the ways we can go. Let's go ahead and head through here then, shall we? Where do these passages go, I wonder? Heck, it appears these are one way directions. We just have to deal with it. What the heck? Holy crap. There is something askew here, I must say. Let's go figure out what that's this is all about. Keep moving. The castle's changed its shape all of a sudden. What could it mean? What could it mean indeed? Man, what is this place? I wonder the same thing. Alexandria must protect my kingdom with rage. You can see we're heading on board the airship. Great, we're all going to fall to our doom. Zidane, starting to feel sick. It was nice of uh, Amaran to mention that. Normally he's just been a prick the whole time. He's actually a big softy. <laughs> you did, did you? Wait, what the hell? Dagger! What's going on? Holy crap. Well, holy judgment, what are you talking about? Yeah, where are you doing? That's not safe. What the hell? How do you go? So, ch kid, when thinking about committing suicide, it's probably not the best idea to do it on top of a castle with a giant sword sticking out of it. What the heck? What the hell? Wait for a Disney song to start going here at this site. What the heck? Holy shit, it's like real magic. <laughs> I can't help it. It's one of my famous quotes, guys. Deal with it. Uh. You were covered in light! The hidden powers of the four jewels. This light appears when a holy eidolon calls for the summoner. Okay. Interestingly, I think there's a translation issue with the four jewels. I think it's supposed to be the four crystals. And those crystals are supposed to be the elemental crystals. Again, a reference to older Final Fantasy games. But it's not really clear if that's the case. I've never played the original Japanese version and tried to translate the kanji, so I don't really know. But I like to think that that's what they really meant by it. Come on! So apparently they're doing some kind of chant or whatever. Not sure what it will do, but we'll find out. Oh, Guardian, hear our prayers! Our prayers! Whoa. 
darkness into the light. Holy crap, here we go. What is this? Oh boy. What the hell is that? Where the hell did they get those big ass wings? Here's Bahamut does not like the item with big wings. Because it's now laying waste to the giant feathers. What the? Oh boy. For those of you who have never played this other Final Fantasy games, I believe that's Alexander. And his skill is Final Judgment. Uh oh. Gib! Talk about having an aimbot. And let the rape of Bahamut begin. There's a summon like that when you need it. I mean, really, we could have used that several times earlier, I'm sure. <laughs> After we stole the enemy here. Alright, so that's pretty rad. Haha, <laughs> Kuja. You failed. In the castle with your brilliant wings, how admirable your powers! You trusted Bahamut's Alexander. I've been waiting for you. I've called my magic carriage for you, and I'm sure you like it. Invincible, come forth, your mine, Alexander. Uh oh. Oh no. No 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 no. No 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 no. Please, please, pretty please, no no. Sauron. He did that on purpose, the little bastard. Now we're in trouble. What the hell? Who is that? You wish for that inquisition, Gaia. For one purpose alone, now you have lost sight of your mission. I will no longer tolerate your action. Choose a Dane. What the hell? Who is this guy? Be Darth Vader without the mask? What the hell is he doing? Why does it look like his hands are made out of cloth? I'm sure it will all be explained. As this new character has arisen. <laughs> what happened to the Invincible? So Alexander, as you have enslaved Bahamut. Fail. Garland. Did the G Garland, he must know my plan, but why is he assuming control of the Invincible? Interesting. Garland is also a reference from Final Fantasy 1, for those of you who actually give a crap. I give a crap. You should too. That was quite a trip! Been killed. <laughs> He's got a point. That's right. <laughs> you say that now, but you'll be okay. Alright, so anyway... With the bait to cool, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. We'll take care of the hard labor, the heavy labor, bro. Alright, so. Let's see. Alright, well, we're in control. Make sure you've got your characters equipped the way you want them to be. Probably now's a good time to put on those diamond gloves. But we'll hold off on it, because she's really not learning anything from it. For the most part... Um, uh, Armorant's fine where he is. Vivi should be okay as well, I would think. So he can learn the Rebirth Ring skills. More importantly, though, the big guy here can learn Revive. So actually, this is the biggest substitute right here is to hook up Armorant with the Revive skill. We'll find out why later. We'll talk about more of that stuff as it comes up. Let's go ahead and finish out this long, elongated episode because I felt like stretching it out longer than it needed to be. But for each is, to each his own. 
All right, so we can head in here. We can definitely exploit the Moogle. Okay, so we know about that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX, saving the princess and a hidden boss. We'll see you then.